Hello, my name is Bree Eaton. I'm from Tacoma, Washington. I'm the owner of Flourished Photography. I started my business over 18 years ago and I'm 100% self-employed. I understand that during this pandemic, I'm not allowed to have my studio open and I can't shoot weddings due to the fact that we can't have large groups of people congregating together. What I am confused about is why my industry has been lumped in with the touch industry and why I'm not allowed to go work in public parks and downtown Tacoma and take people's portraits when I have a zoom lens that I can effectively and safely photograph people from 25 feet away or more. I'd love to, to know the, the reasoning behind that as I would absolutely 100% love to get back to work. Thank you so much. Uh, Representative Springer. The rationale for not allowing uh, portrait photography other than weddings and, and parties and whatnot, the logic of that, I've got to say, escapes me. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, it's another example of a business category probably being lumped in with other events, weddings, parties, graduations, large gatherings, um, and that that's what your business is. So therefore, you're not going to be able to do that because we're not going to allow those gatherings. Uh, it it does ignore the fact that there's a whole lot of other ways in which photographs can be taken. And this is an example, again, of a, an industry or a group of photographers uh, that might put their heads together, uh, show how, in fact, they can observe the protocols. Um, and again, share that information uh, with your local uh, uh, you know, state representative or get them to me or to JT. We will make sure those get to the governor's office for consideration. Well, no, nobody works harder on this stuff than Larry Springer. Um, I'm, I'm glad to be on the show with him because I know he's doing that. Um, one of the most effective members of the governor's cabinet, I think, is uh, the director of the Department of Commerce, Lisa Brown. And she briefed me a few weeks ago on uh, their role. Uh, and I, I think... The, the, at least the first month of this was all about public health. And uh, my impression, I don't want to get Lisa in trouble because she didn't say this to me. My impression is that uh, there was not a lot of talk about the economy. And one thing that I asked her to do now that she has been brought into the discussion is uh, can, can we please understand that there's a big part of the economy that doesn't have trade associations, you know, that isn't represented by, right. um, you know, the commercial uh, airplane industry, uh, because they can get into anybody's office anytime. Can we figure out a way to have some blanket rules for small business? Uh, because you have people here that are dying to be compliant and getting back to the thing that they love to do and their whole future depends on. And, um, Again, this is something that is in, under the control of the, of the governor's office. And uh, I think uh, they have been a little slow to try to understand that these categories are not always connected to safety. Sometimes they're very, very arbitrary and the damage is immense. And uh, I would uh, also suggest that uh, besides getting into the governor's office, we try the uh, Department of Commerce as well. 